Welcome to the Portable Classroom Phonics Zone. In this video, we are going to learn how to use was and were to talk about things in the past, what happened yesterday. So, without further ado, let's begin. First, let's talk about the B verbs of the past tense. We know that in present tense there are three B verbs: they are am, are, and is. In the past tense, we change is and am into was, and we turned are into were. So this is a table for the be verbs that we use with the present tense and the past tense. So when we use that the be verb in the present tense, we say I am, you are, he is, she is, it is. They are, we are, and you are. When it's the past, when it's in the past tense, I am becomes I was. You are, you were. He is, he was. She is, she was. It is, it was. They are, they were. We are, we were. You are, and you were. So we know that are turns into were. Is. Or am turns into was, so practice with the be verbs over here, like I was, you were, he was, she was, it was, they were, we were, you were, to get familiar with what which be verb goes with which subject. Like I goes with was in the past tense, you goes with were in the past tense, and so on and so forth. Let's move on to the next slide. Next slide, we're going to talk about using was and were. In yes no questions. So was he at the hospital yesterday? This is a place. Was he at the hospital yesterday? And the answer will be because I say was he, and the answer will be yes he was. So you can see that was he? He was. Was he at the hospital yesterday? Yes he was. He was at the hospital yesterday. Let's look at another example. Were they at the train station yesterday? Is they so it's were they, were they at the train station yesterday, and the answer is yes they were were they they were they were at the train station yesterday, so as you can see, a sentence in the past tense and the sentence in the present tense very similar when we say was he, in a yes no question when we answer yes it's he was were they. Yes, they were very similar, very much like the way that we use the sentences in the present simple tense. Only that we change two things. One is the time; it's not now anymore. It's yesterday, and the be verb because these are the be verbs that we use in the past tense. So let's start practicing yes/no questions and positive answers. First picture, you can see that this is a hospital. So the question is, was Kate at the hospital yesterday? Was Kate at the hospital yesterday? Try to answer this question by yourself, and then look at the answer. The answer is, yes, she was. She was at the hospital yesterday. Yes, she was. She was at the hospital yesterday. Question number two. This is an airport. An airport. The question: Was Peter at the airport yesterday? Was Peter at the airport yesterday? Now, airport start with the vowel, so it's the airport. And the answer is: Yes, he was. He was at the airport yesterday. So was Peter? Yes, he was. He was at the airport. Yesterday. Question number three. This is a bank. Question: Were you at the bank yesterday? Were you at the bank yesterday? Try it yourself. How will you answer this question? Well, the answer is: Yes, I was. I was at the bank yesterday. Yes, I was. I was at the bank yesterday. Question number four. This is a school. The question: 
were Leo and Sue at school yesterday? Were Leo and Sue at school yesterday? Leo and Sue, two people. Therefore, the beaver is were. Answer: Yes, they were. They were at school yesterday. Yes, they were. They were at school yesterday. Question five: This is a department store. A department store. Let's look at the question. Were Tim and you at the department store yesterday? Were Tim and you at the department store yesterday? Well, the answer is yes. We were. This includes the person. Yes, we were. We were at the department store yesterday. We were at the department store yesterday. All right. So we finished practicing the yes/no questions with positive answers. Let's practice using yes/no questions with negative no answers. First, let's talk about the be verbs. Now, when we、uh, use them. In the present tense, it's I am not. You cannot put these two together. So I am not. You are not. You can say you aren't. He is not. He isn't. She isn't. It isn't. They aren't. We aren't. And you aren't. And the be verbs, the negative ones. They follow the same rules. You can see that all you need is an apostrophe t at the end of a be verb. So I was not becomes I wasn't, and then you were not, you weren't, he wasn't, she wasn't, it wasn't, they weren't, we weren't, you weren't. At the end of each be verb, we add an apostrophe t. And we can form a negative be verb, just like what's on the table. So again, you have to practice this part to get familiar with how to use negative be verbs in the past tense. All right, let's start practicing with yes/no questions. First, let's take a look at some examples. Was he at the hospital yesterday? Now remember, we are practicing saying no, so the answer is no. He wasn't. No, he wasn't. So was he? No, he wasn't. He wasn't at the hospital yesterday. Another example: Were they at the train station yesterday? Answer: No, they weren't. So were they? No, they weren't. They weren't at the train station yesterday. So. Let's begin. Question number six. This is a train station, a train station, and then the question is: Was Kate at the airport yesterday? Was Kate at the airport yesterday? This is not an airport. It's a train station. So the answer is: Of course, no, she wasn't. She wasn't at the airport yesterday. So was Kate? It's a girl. No, she wasn't. She wasn't at the airport yesterday. Question seven. This is a beach. Let's take a look at the question. Was same at the department store yesterday? Was same at the department store yesterday? The answer is no. So no, he wasn't. He wasn't at the department store yesterday. No, he wasn't. He wasn't at the department store yesterday. Question eight. This is a bank. And the question: Were you at the hospital yesterday? Were you at the hospital yesterday? No, I wasn't. I wasn't at the hospital yesterday. So were you? No, I wasn't. I wasn't at the hospital yesterday. Question nine. This is a department store. Now, were Sue and you at the supermarket yesterday? Were Sue and you at the supermarket yesterday? The answer is no. Of course, no, we weren't, because it includes the person. No, we weren't. We weren't at the supermarket yesterday. We weren't at the supermarket yesterday. The final question, question ten. 
This is a school. And the question is, were Peter and David at home yesterday? Were Peter and David at home yesterday? The answer is, no, they weren't. They weren't at home yesterday. No, they weren't. They weren't at home yesterday. One, two, three, action. This is the end of the video. Now, for more information, please visit www.theportableclassroom.blogspot.tw. You can get videos on grammar, vocabulary, phonics, and many other aspects that will help you to learn English by yourself. Thank you, and hope you visit us again.